you may wonder how you could help. Cybersecurity experts say now more than ever, it is important to double check the ways in which you donate so you don't become a scammer's next victim. WCPO 9 News reporter Jake Ryle shows us a unique way of giving back and how you can make sure your dollars end up in the right place. Take a walk through Bellevue's The Party Source. You'll find lots of bottles, and while some, like vodka, might sound Russian... The majority of them are actually coming from the U.S., even here in Kentucky. Micah Dennison, the store's general manager, says this is the spot on the shelf where two Russian vodka brands would normally be. Those have been removed. We took those down on Monday. He says it's a chance to show support for those in Ukraine. We could pull the products, um, but, you know, it's more of a symbolic gesture. What could we do to actually offer or show some form of support. So we decided that we would, you know, invest in a Ukrainian vodka. They didn't just buy core vodka. They bought all of the bottles the distributor had around a thousand in two different sizes. Donate all of the profits to those uh, products to uh, the Matthew 25 Ministries. It's a nice tie into a local charity that we know from our own past experiences that they do a lot, you know, if not 100%, the majority of these donations will go directly where, where it needs to go. It's a cause they hope could raise thousands of dollars, but if vodka is not your thing. Experts say you should do your homework when making donations to other causes, saying that you should first check in with the Chamber of Commerce as well as the Better Business Bureau to ensure that you're dealing with a legitimate nonprofit organization. Understand that, unfortunately, there are bad folks out there who are very creative, very devious, and very smart, and will take advantage of these kind of uh, situations because they make enormous amounts of money. Cybersecurity expert Dave Hatter says if you get an email or text to never click on links and to go directly through a nonprofit organization's website or simply call them. It's entirely within the realm of possibility that as part of a disinformation, misinformation, uh, cyber attack campaign that the Russians would be sending out fraudulent things and that the money you think you're giving to help Ukraine could be going to Russia. Back at the party source, Denison is hoping a few bottles can go a long way, helping Ukrainians overseas. In Bellevue, Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News.